Hello everybody, today I have this 2012 Fragander Cascadia. Um, today I'm going to show you the crankcase problem that this uh, Cascadia has. As you can see, the crankcase is leaking a lot of oil. I already replaced the crankcase, as you can see, it's a new one. If you want to know how to replace the crankcase, you can check the video in the description below where I show how to replace the crankcase filter on a DD15 engine, but it's going to be similar to DD13s and DD16s as well. Um, but you can see there is a lot of oil going through the spring to the DPF filter with the SCR, you see oil over there. And all the way to the back to the truck, you can see it's all oily. It's oil everywhere because the crankcase was leaking a lot of oil. You can see all over the frame there is oil. And as, as I say, it, it was coming from the crankcase. This is the old crankcase that was mounted on the truck. Uh, as you can see, everything looks normal. Um, I know it was leaking from here. This is the area where the oil was spraying all over the truck. Uh, but it doesn't look like anything is broken. Everything looks on place. But the problem of the crankcase is not outside. The problem of the crankcase is inside. You see that thing over there? That is the turbine then pushes the crankcase around this thing is completely stuck it doesn't move at all it should be moving freely with no effort at all but as you can see I put a screwdriver and I, I am not able to move it at all it is completely stuck it sees inside so I believe that the bearing went bad or something got stuck in between the turbine and the uh, filter inside so uh, just to tell you a little bit about this crankcase filter, the way it works is then here, this orifice over here, this is the oil pressure orifice. So there is an oil pressure coming from uh, the engine directly to the crankcase, then goes through the orifice, and that oil pressure goes directly to the turbine over here. It hits the turbine, and it makes the turbine to speed to a really fast speed like around 2000 3000 or more 7000 rpms really fast uh, this create creates a vacuum and the vacuum comes from the top over here so the vacuum sucks all the pressure coming from the engine the crankcase pressure and separates the oil in here there is a filter that separates the oil in here and separates the oil to the walls over here, the walls, and the oil goes to here, to the exit, over here, and goes and goes back to the oil pan, and the pressure comes from this side. So this is the way it works, it spins inside, separates the oil, and creates vacuum, and, uh, and it, the vacuum uh, releases over here as a pressure, just a small pressure coming over here, and the oil comes over here. The easiest way to know that the tank is filter pressure is getting higher than expected uh, is by removing the cap while the engine is running uh, the cap should should go back like this the engine inside the crankcase should suck the cap back to the place but if you feel that the cap is jumping around like this and when you remove it you feel then there is pressure over here like uh, you feel there is some pressure that means the crankcase filter is bad so you need to replace it uh, that's the easiest way to know that the crankcase filter is not working well uh, because the sensor then goes on top of the crankcase filter is only for speed uh, it only measures the speed of the crankcase filter it doesn't uh, measure the pressure that the crankcase filter is generating uh, so which is very uh, weird because it's supposed to measure the pressure and the speed as well it will be good but uh, in this case it only measures the speed but that will be the easiest way to know if uh, your crankcase filter is uh, about to get bad or if you want to know if your crankcase filter is working fine just remove the cap and you uh, must feel some suction over here while the engine is running you will feel it uh, if you feel that you feel uh, pressure over here, that means then the crankcase filter is no good and you need to replace it as soon as, as you can because the crankcase filter can mess a lot of stuff and you will end up having uh, oil leaks everywhere around the engine and will cost a lot of money to fixing after that. 
So this is all I'm going to show you about uh, the crankcase problem on this uh, DD15 engine. Uh, the process of removal is going to be similar to all DD platform engines, DD13, DD15 and DD16. Anyway, if you have any questions, anything to add, any recommendations, any suggestions, you can uh, comment below and share opinions and questions with everybody. Um, I will try to answer as many questions as I can, but if you can answer questions, you can do it as well if you know about these engines. If you want to send some support to my channel, you can check the video description below for details how to send support to my channel so I can continue making helpful videos for everybody. So like, share, subscribe and thank you for watching.